Well, it is that time of year uh, to start thinking about the fall and uh, more than just hunting in the state of Colorado, thinking about hunting out of state, but it's really going to be tough for you to beat the year that you had last year with your bow. It was incredible. Yeah, it was a really incredible year. and Yeah, I can't put it in words, but it was really amazing. I had a lot of adventures and a lot of experiences, and yeah, it was it was awesome. I'm so proud of you. Just not not even just the fact that a few things you spent at least 26 days in the field just in the month of September, and part of that with COVID and everything that that was going on, um, you know, it was what it was. But part of it, we, you and I got to spend a lot more time together, which was great. And then you were able to see what I'm doing for pretty much the whole month of September every year and you're you're working in your own and then even being able to see other guys that had success. There he is, the elk slayer. <laughs> and look, son of a gun. Fresh for delivery, we brought you some pizza. That'll work. <laughs> so between you and I, we were able to help out like Clint and John, just help them pack out an elk and it, it was really cool to see that you you didn't care about your hunt so much it wasn't like the most number one thing to you that you were able to put other guys needs in front of your own and come out and help them so to me that was awesome yeah i mean like they do the same for us so i just in my mind like why not just do the same for them like if i had the opportunity to help someone out might as well go and do it you know yeah well that's probably not going to happen this year if you shoot a bull out of state so you're going to rely on yeah. whoever goes with you but that could be an incredible hunt so between new mexico wyoming and uh montana and even utah it, it's it's tough because colorado has so much to offer on the hunting side but if you draw a tag i think out, out of state it's going to be incredible it'll be a new experience to see some new country yeah i think so too like hunting an animal in just a completely different environment i think for me will be I'll have a lot of awesome adventures and memories, especially just going out there with you too. Like that means more to me than just hunting an animal. And but like, how was hunting out of state for your first time? I haven't done it a lot, but I'll never forget my Montana elk hunt. That was an archery tag. It was a coveted tag that I drew in the southwestern corner of the state of Montana. And uh, yeah, this was the bull that I took. Let's see. <laughs> First day in Montana, it's a pretty epic morning. You know, the bull that I ended up passing, I don't pass elk. I'm still kind of shocked that I didn't uh, take a shot at that bull, but anyways, he told me this is a pretty special place. Dude, first day in Montana. So thankful. Now we just need to drink one. Dude, thank you. Thank you so much. Not a bad first morning. Psst. I've always dreamed about hunting elk outside of the state of Colorado. And in 2017, I drew an archery only elk tag in Montana. To get into elk right out of the gates, still trying to learn this area, learn the, learn the country, learn you know, where, where we can't go, and you know, trying to learn where the elk are crossing and try to get them a pattern. Like we were, we almost connected right out of the gates this morning. You know, how, how cool would that have been? Your first day to be able to connect with. Well, it's still early, but I'm thinking that the elk activity is gonna kick off later. And anytime it kicks off later, you deal with a lot of things, but I just, I, I've never hunted a place like this. I'm so excited. Opening day is one of those things that I think a lot of people just look forward to regardless what you're hunting. And for me to be in a completely different area and have Mark kind of showing me the lay of the land and where we could hunt and kind of explaining drainages and just getting a game plan for the rest of the week was super exciting. This country is so open. You can, you know, I can, I can see over a thousand yards away, and that's that's kind of how with the group of elk that we saw this morning, you could see 
probably about 20, 30 head of cows. There was a couple satellite bulls on the side and Mark had seen a big bull. I saw a big body, but I never got a look in his rack to get this really cool, deep, deep throaty bugle. So with all this country, you just never know which way they're gonna come. They could be in the next coulee or draw over, or they could just be up here. And you would, they'd be right down here, and you wouldn't know until they, until they sound off. But we got flies everywhere. I don't like flies. So I think we're just gonna scalp this a little bit. Just keep our glass on. Wait for the wind to get right. Head up this ridge. Um, kind of where we had heard this bull this morning. Went, Maybe he's there, maybe he's not, but we're gonna go see. He has a really cool throaty bugle. We're gonna see if we can get on him. I'm excited, but if not, I got all week. This is the tree that my bull was raking. He was starting to beat it up, and man, when I saw him raking that tree, I got so excited. sacred moment and something I don't take lightly. It's an adventure. Regardless of whatever the end result is on my hunts, connecting with God's creation continues to fuel my spirit. This is my Out of Bounds. What's yours?